If you don't like the default purple theme that ships with your Roku Smart TV or streaming player, there are a variety of home screen wallpapers, screen servers and sounds to choose from. Hey, this is David from Dignited and today I'll be showing you how to customize your Roku TV's home screen wallpaper and screen server to your liking. Alright, let's get into it. To change the default home screen wallpaper, you can either choose a theme pack or wallpaper. A theme pack is basically a unified selection of home screen wallpaper, screen server and sounds that look and work together. So to change your Roku TV's theme pack, simply go to settings and then come to theme and then come to theme packs. Now we have a variety of theme packs to choose from such as Space. Uh, we have Nautical, Django, Western, Romance Kids and so forth. So I'm just going to choose the Django theme here. So tap on Get Theme to download the theme. Alright, after the download is complete, simply select Set Theme Pack. So let's just select that and now it's changing the theme pack to the Django theme pack. Now we have our theme pack complete with wallpaper, screen server and sounds. So if I selected the uh, home screen again, just went back to the home screen. We have this Django here as our wallpaper and also the screen server is now set to that of a Django theme. So let's just check that out as well. All right, so after about a minute of idle time, the screen server is set in because I've set the idle time to about one minute. And now we have this really awesome screen server of a jungle, the streams, the dinosaurs and so forth. Totally really looks nice on my Roku TV. All right, so you can see that my wallpaper, screen server and sounds are all set to this jungle theme. But if I want a discrete wallpaper, that's kind of different from this Django wallpaper that comes with a theme pack. I can also do that. And what we're going to do is to go back to settings theme and then select our wallpapers here. So I'm just going to have to select wallpaper that I want from a selection of hundreds of uh, wallpapers. And let me just see what I like here. So I think I totally love this summer landscape wallpaper here. So tap on get wallpaper. It should start downloading the wallpaper. It takes just a few seconds depending on how fast your internet is. Right, after the download is done, simply select set as wallpaper to set it as the wallpaper of your Roku TV. And you can see that it has changed to this cool landscape wallpaper. So if I tapped on the home button, we have the uh, home screen wallpaper changed to this cool new uh, landscape wallpaper. Now we can also change the screen server separately from that of the theme pack that we downloaded. So again, just go to settings and come to theme and then come to screen servers here as you can see the current screen server that we have is that of the Django screen server from the theme park we downloaded previously but we can change that to well let's see we have Roman space uh, western kids uh, aquatic life um, just going to try let's say uh, western okay so uh, I already downloaded this, so I'm just going to set it as screen server. Okay, and now I'm just going to preview it just to see how it looks like. Oh, nice. Totally looks really awesome for my TV. Great. Now you can also choose the start time of your screen server. This is basically how long your device will be idle before the screen server is displayed. So to do that, let's just back down one or two steps and then just under additional settings here, come to screen server start time. It's I currently disabled it for this tutorial, but we can set it to between one minute, five minute, 10 or 30 minutes, really depending on how long you want your TV to be idle before the screen server sets in. Probably five minutes or 10 minutes is uh, an ideal time. And yeah, the screen server should set in after that period of time. So if I back down, I can see what my current wallpaper is, what my current screen server is, and 
also what my sounds is so roku tv is absolutely customizable to your liking to your preference you know you can totally set the home screen and wallpaper and screen savers and sounds to suit the mood that you're in to suit the season that you're in and this is really something that other uh, smart tv platforms don't really do quite well as roku does all right this has been how to customize your roku tv by setting uh wallpaper and screen servers if you like this video go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel otherwise we'll see you guys in the next one